show and tell. I'm sure you would like to see how I did this. Let me take you through the broad steps to achieve this. First, open the base image and the other image. Then, use what tool to bend, twist and curl. Match the edges of the images using layer opacity. Add layer mask to blend the images. Use stamp and clone tool to correct the image. Finally, save it as PSD and JPEG. Now that I have started Photoshop, let me open the images. I want to place the head of the snake on the head of the dog. So, let me start by outlining the snake's head using the lasso tool. I will now copy and paste the snake's head on the base image that is the dog. The snake's head is too big, so let me resize it using free transform. But the snake's head is in the opposite direction. Let me use the flip horizontal tool and change the direction. Next, I place the snake's head in the required position. Before I move further, I need to make sure that the snake's head fits perfectly on the dog's head. To do this, I will use the warp tool. The warp tool is used to bend twist and curl an image. It also helps to adjust the edges of the overlapped image with the base image. It is simple to use. Just click and drag these points. Practice and only practice will help you in using any tool effectively. I reduce the layer opacity to see whether the edges match perfectly. Let me look at the edges in detail. To do so, I toggle between the layers. I am still not satisfied, so I further adjust the edges. Remember? I am using the warp tool to do this. Now it is perfect. So let me change the opacity back to 100% and rename the layer to snake. Next I need to remove the unwanted area around the snake's image. But at the same time I want to retain the base image. So let me use the add layer mask option to protect the base image. 
see this the colors have now changed to black and white that is the foreground and the background colors i now use the brush tool to hide the unwanted area observe that the black color is selected by default let me adjust the opacity flow and the brush size i gently move the brush over the area can you notice that the background color beneath remains unchanged yes that is what i wanted Do you see that I keep increasing and decreasing the size of the brush depending on the area I wish to hide? I do this by using the square bracket keys from the keyboard. Oops I hit the area here a little too much let me reveal it I click on this arrow to toggle to white color then I move the brush tool over the hidden area I keep toggling between the colors to hide and reveal the areas Let me toggle between the two layers to see how the image looks. Now I will create a copy of this image by doing control plus j and rename it to dog. Let me adjust the layer opacity. Do you see there are some unwanted parts in the dog's image that need to be removed? Let me use the stamp tool to remove this.
Once I am satisfied, I make adjustments to the color and texture. Next, the head of the snake should blend with the dog's neck in such a way that it gives a seamless effect. Before proceeding, I first select the layer mask. Then, I use the brush tool and adjust the opacity and flow. Now, let me keep toggling between white and black color to blend the neck areas. Next, let me enhance the overall color effect. Did you notice that the shadow too needs to be changed? Yes, to do so, I will create a new layer and select the area. Now, I fill the selection with black color and I place it on the shadow. I adjust the edges of the shadow using the warp tool. To give the shadow soft edges, I go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur and adjust the radius. Then click OK. Let me give some final touches to the image. Excluding the background, let me merge all the layers. Saw that? Three layers merging into one. Some more touching up. Now save the image in both PSD and JPEG format.